Hi, I've finally given in and agreed to create a YouTube channel, which is well out of my comfort zone and not something I'm entirely sure I should be doing, but here goes nothing, I suppose. So today I'm going to be creating this lovely look on my ring finger, pretty little rainbow opaly style nail. So let's get started. Hi guys, so welcome to my first ever YouTube tutorial. In fact, the first tutorial I've ever done because I've never tried doing any of this on video before. So it could be quite interesting. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, I guess. So I've gathered all the things that I'm going to use today in front of me. I've got, first of all, the Misu gel polish in top coat strength and their base coat. I have got this lovely little pot of gel from Halo, quite well used, you can see. So if any of you are on my Instagram and have seen the pictures of the wall hanging that I made, I actually used the majority of this to paint the little stars after the clay had dried. So that's where a lot of that went. And then I've got this Vitro Gold Leaf Foil in here, really pretty. I've got my flakies. So these are the Edge Pink Angel Flakes. I have got my gel polishes. So I use the Halo gel polish range from Pure Beauty UK. Um, I really like this range. I find the colors are highly pigmented. And best of all, some of you may know that I have allergic reactions to quite a lot of different nail products, but these ones I'm okay with as long as I use a no white top coat to finish them off. So I don't know whether it's something that's in the inhibition layer in gels that I seem to react to, but these guys I'm okay with. So the colors I've got are dark purple, white, turquoise, cranberry, and this one I believe is cashmere it is. So that one's cashmere, which is just like a nice pinky nude. I have got my beautiful hand model here. And I've got a couple of nail art brushes. So I've got a nail nails brush in number two, little stripey brush there, nice thin striper. I've got my gel brush, which I'm using the edge number six flat. And I've also just got this little short liner. I've actually trimmed this brush quite a lot. So it's very, very, very thin. And that's ideal for getting these little borders that I've got around the nails. So I'm gonna be creating the look that I've got on my right hand here, not this one here. And um, the only other thing that I've got that I'm going to need is a little palette to mix things on. So just any wipe clean surface would be ideal for that. So let's get started. If I was going to be doing this on um, my own nails or um, someone else's or a set of press ones, for example, I would remove that shiny layer just to make the polish last longer. So I'd use typically one of these little white buffing blocks. Or I would give it a wipe over with some acetone just to take that shine off there and help the gel adhere a little better. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm not going to use a base coat. I'm just going to go straight in um, and I'm going to use cashmere. So I'm going to apply this. Now, ordinarily, I would use a couple of coats. However, because I'm just doing this tip here and I'm going to be layering things over the top, I'm just going to do one thin coat of cashmere such a lovely colour and I'm going to pop that into the lamp and I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. So now that's cured um, it doesn't matter that it's not the most even coat in the world like I said we're going to be working over the top of this anyway so I can put that one out the way we don't need that anymore and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the Pink Angel Flakies. I'm going to use a thin layer of the Misu base coat just to stick these into so nice and thin doesn't need to be thick at all we don't want to be adding too much bulk to the nail with big thick layers where they're not required so pop that on there and then i'm just going to use this little brush and just pick up a few of these pop them into that base coat you can use as little or as much of this as you like just anywhere randomly on the nail and try and keep them relatively flat so mine have jumped up a little bit there so just try and keep those nice and flat 
and that's going to help when we start putting the colours on so you won't end up with little pools of colour stuck around the flakies. So once you're happy with that, that can go back into the lamp for another 60 seconds. So now that that's cured, I'll pop those out of the way before I knock them over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our mixing palette and we're going to start making our sheared out colours. So if you've already got um, like a jelly polish or gel, that's going to be ideal for this. But because I haven't, I'm going to make my own. And to do that, I'm going to use these colours. So I'm going to use a little bit of turquoise. And you can use any colours you want to create this sort of look. These are just the colours that I happen to like together. But you can use anything. So ooh, I'm going to try not to put too much on there because well, I only need a little bit because I'm only doing one nail. It's better to only put a little bit out and add more if needed rather than end up wasting a load of polish. So once I've got those on there, I'm just going to add a blob of base coat next to each one. I'm not going to put it directly in just because if I do it this way, I've got a little bit more control when I'm mixing the colours in to how rich I want them. So pop those on there. And then I'm going to take my flat gel brush and I'm going to mix a little bit. Let's start with turquoise. So mix a little bit in and get that nice sheer wash of colour. And then we can start adding it onto the nail. And you can add this in. It doesn't need to be neat. It can go on anywhere, really. Any mix of colours. You can do it differently on every single nail. It doesn't matter with this kind of look. So it really is just a case of playing about a bit. I'm just going to clean my brush off and then get a little bit of cranberry. And again, mix it into that base coat. Add a little bit more. Just a little bit of colour in there. Mix those all together. I don't know how many of you have ever filmed yourself doing this kind of thing. Obviously, there'll be some other YouTubers out there watching this, but it's very strange sitting in a room by yourself and talking to a plastic nail tip. Hopefully when all this, um, when the quarantine's lifted, I can get my sister on and do her nails again. Because I don't do people's nails as a rule because I'm not trained. Um, however, my sister only ever just wants gel and she's more than happy to be a little bit of a guinea pig. So I might have a real person to do this with. Well, I don't know if she can be trusted on camera. So I'm just mixing in a little bit of the, um, in between my rambling, a little bit of the dark purple with the clear. This is such a nice colour. It's such a lovely colour to use in winter and you can build it up and have it quite sheer or you can build it up so it's almost black and then in the light it catches and you can see the little shade of purple. So I'm quite liking how that's looking now. You can just smoosh it all around. I'll tell you what, let's add a little bit more pink in there from the cranberry. Mix those all around. You can you can see the flakies are still showing through, but they're not quite as strong under that little wash of colour, which is the effect we're looking for. So now I've got that how I want it. I'm going to pop it back in the lamp and cure for 60 seconds. Right, so that has finished curing. I'm happy with how that looks. If you want, you can go and you can add more colour. I'm not going to because I like how this has come out so far. But you can go back in if you feel your colours haven't been strong enough the first time. Or if you just want to add a little bit more of... Um, so I haven't used very much of the turquoise, so I could go and add some more of that in. I'm not going to. I'm going to move my little palette to the side here. And I'm going to get some of my white my base coat and I'm just going to grab a little blob of this and get my base coat here and what I'm going to do is just add a layer of base coat over the top of those colours just so that I've got a nice wet layer start adding a little bit of white in and you probably see this used quite a lot when people do like marble nails or rose quartz nails 
So just a tiny little bit of white on a striping brush. You can get that. Add that in any way you want into that wet base coat. And you can use blooming gel if you do have that. I'm not as prepared, so I don't have any of that. But you can see the white will start to separate in that wet gel. And you can just move it around a little bit. You can let it do its own thing, whatever you like. But I find this a really nice way to add a little bit more depth into the design. So we'll pop that back in the lamp once we're happy with it and cure for 60 seconds. So now we've done that, we're going to add the border to these nails. I'm just going to give my palette a little clean. Trusty bit of kitchen roll beside me. And we're going to use the Halo Tinsel and the Vitro Gold Leaf. And these two mixed together, I've just found because the flakies are a bit bigger in the gold leaf, and the gold leaf is quite yellow. I'm not a big fan of yellowy gold. So I added a little bit of the silver tinsel gel and I just thought the color came out really nice. And also the smaller particles of glitter in here kind of filled the gaps in between this one. So we're gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab another brush, just a scoop, a little bit of this out and a little goes a long way. You can see the pigment in that silver. I'm going to use this little poor little stubby cut down brush to do this. I'm going to get a little bit of the gold. I'm using any brush that comes to hand and I'm just going to mix those two together on here. I'm probably going to need a little bit more gold there. So Grab some of that, mix it in until I've got the colour I want. And if you've already got, you know, a foil gel that you already like the colour of and you're not being fussy like me, then obviously you can just crack on and use whatever you've got. You can use um, actual foil with foil glue or foil gel if you prefer. This is just the way. I've decided that I wanted to do this. So, move my lids, add my little pot of gel, and I'm just going to take this really tiny little stripey brush. And it's even more tiny than when he first started out. And I'm just going to go around the edge of the nail very carefully. If you can hear a banging, that is a cat trying desperately to get in here. He's been uh, evicted from this room because he likes to steal brushes. And well, he likes to steal a lot of things. He's like a little magpie. He, uh, this morning, he stole the plug out the bath and dragged it downstairs and was playing with it in the sitting room because the plug is not attached to the bath. Um, he's not like superhuman strength or anything. Um, <laughs> he just decided that was what he was going to play with this morning. So I'm just going round all of the edges of the nail, slightly thinner on where your side wall would be. These very fine lines on the side there. I'm going to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Pop that down the side of there and we've got a lovely little hair clinging on. It always seems to be fluff about when you're doing anything with gel. I know that there'll be plenty of you out there that do your nails will know that you can have the cleanest surface in the world but as soon as you crack out that gel or your nail polish and things get sticky fluff appears so i'm just going to pop a little bit more around the free edge And again, you don't have to be massively neat with your lines on this. What you can even do is just bring a little of the foil 
off the lines. So it doesn't matter if you make a bit of a mess, just go with it. Go with it, enhance the mess, why not? A lot of the designs that I've done have ended up looking better when I've made a bit of a mess them. So now I'm happy with that. I'm going to pop it in the lamp and cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so now that's cured and you can see it's almost done. What I'm going to do now, because there are a few little raised bits where the flakies are underneath the sheer gel colours that we've applied and the edge is also slightly raised. Now, if you're happy to have those bits slightly raised, that's fine. Go ahead, just add a top coat. What I'm going to do is add a layer of the Misu Strength. I also like using this on my natural nails because even though they are very short at the moment, they're also very thin. So this does what, does what it says on the bottle, adds a little bit of extra strength. So I'm going to go in with a reasonably generous coat of this. And just get it as even as possible. You can do two layers of um, base or two layers of top if you don't have a strengthener gel or you can use a clear builder gel, clear builder in a bottle. There's that hair again. Back to haunt me, that little fluff. Just get that nice smooth surface there on the nail. Turn it upside down if you want, if you've used quite a heavy coat or if you've used a builder gel, just to let it level itself out. Gravity is your friend. And then we're going to pop it back in the lamp for another 60 seconds. So now that's cured. And all I'm going to do with this now is add a layer of top coat. I really like the Misu top coat personally um it's a no wipe top coat so it doesn't cause me any problems with allergies which is the biggest thing i look for in top coat at the moment and um, the other one i'm really liking is i've also got the neo nails urban graffiti top coat which i'm a big fan of and the halo which i can't find at the moment but i do have the halo no wipe top coat as well and that's a fantastic one so what I'll do is I'll list the products that I've used down in the description box. And then if there's anything that you haven't got that you want to try out for yourself, you'll be able to see how to create this exact look, same colours and everything. So layer of top coat, doesn't need to be too thick because we've already got that nice layer of strength on there to smooth out the surface. Pop it back in the lamp and then we'll be able to see the finished look. That's done its final cure. Now we can see the finished look. So there we go. You can see we've got those little flakies just showing through the colours. Nice and easy, nice fun technique to do. You don't have to be too neat. It's not a difficult one. It isn't, I promise. I know some people look at these things and go, oh God, that looks so hard. But this one really isn't. It's a really fun one to try. Every single nail comes out differently. So it's great. Um, and that's it. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if there's anything else that you would like to see me do. Again, I'll list all these lovely products down below. And then if you do want to create exactly the same look, you know what you're looking for. If you could do me a great big favour and click subscribe to see more videos. And that's it from me for now. Thanks, guys. Bye.